Hello and welcome to this Microbiology Bio 203 video lecture on diseases of the respiratory system. I'm Mr. Kennedy and I'll be your guide as we explore this material. To begin, we'll examine the basic anatomy of the respiratory system. Your respiratory system can be divided into an upper and lower respiratory system. The upper respiratory system is made up of your nose, pharynx, middle ear, and eustachian tubes. Saliva and tears protect this part of your respiratory system along with mucosal surfaces. The lower respiratory system is made up of your larynx, trachea, bronchial tubes, and alveoli. The ciliary escalator moves particles toward the throat via ciliary action. Alveolar macrophage destroy microorganisms in the lungs and respiratory mucus protects the mucosal surfaces in the lower respiratory system. This diagram illustrates the upper respiratory system and this the lower. Next we'll examine the normal microbiota of the respiratory system. The normal microbiota of the respiratory system are not all that dissimilar to the normal microbiota of the skin. Their purpose is to suppress pathogens by competing for nutrients and producing inhibitory substances. The lower respiratory system is nearly sterile. Microbial diseases of the upper respiratory system. Pharyngitis, laryngitis, tonsillitis, sinusitis, and epiglottitis are examples of diseases of the upper respiratory system. Diseases of the upper respiratory system, starting with streptococca pharyngitis, include things like sore throat. Streptococcal pharyngitis is caused by group A streptococcus or gas. A great example of a specific organism that falls into this category that is fairly common for causing sore throats is Streptococcus pyrogenes. The type of sore throat caused by Streptococcus pyrogenes is severe and often referred to as strep throat since it's caused by Streptococcus organisms. Streptococcus pyrogenes is resistant to phagocytosis. It produces streptokinases, which lyse clots, and streptolysins, which are cytotoxic. Usually, streptococcus pyrogenes is a local infection, causing local inflammation, fever, tonsillitis, and enlarged lymph nodes. It can be diagnosed easily by enzyme immunoassay tests. Scarlet fever is another example of, an or of a disease caused by streptococcus pyrogenes. It's most well noted for its erythrogenic toxin produced by lysogenized streptococcus pyrogene cells. This is what strep throat might look like. Diphtheria. Diphtheria is caused by Cornobacterium diphtheriae, which is a gram-positive rod and is pleomorphic. Cornobacterium diphtheriae forms a tough grayish membrane in the throat, often fibrin and dead tissue are visible. It can also block the passage of air to the lungs. Cornobacterium produces an exotoxin as the cells are lysogenized. The exotoxin can circulate in the blood, damage the heart and kidneys. Some examples of diphtheriae include cutaneous diphtheria, which forms skin ulcers and can be prevented by the DTaP vaccine. Otis media. This is an infection of the middle ear and it's most noted by the formation of pus that puts pressure on the eardrum. It's caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae 35% of the time Hemophilus influenzae, 20 to 30 percent of the time. Moraxella, 10 to 15 percent of the time. Streptococcus pyrogenes, 8 to 10 percent of the time, and Staphylococcus aureus, 1 to 2 percent of the time. It's common in childhood due to smaller auditory tubes and can be treated with broad-spectrum penicillins. Viral diseases of the upper respiratory system: the common cold caused by rhinovirus. In rhinovirus occurs 
in over 200 different forms. Rhinoviruses account for 30 to 50 percent of what most people consider a cold. Rhinoviruses thrive in temperatures lower than body temperature. Coronaviruses account for 10 to 15 percent of what people describe as a common cold. Symptoms of the common cold include sneezing, nasal secretion, congestion, and can lead to laryngitis and otis media. It's not normally accompanied by a fever. Antibiotics are literally of no use for the common cold. Other microbial diseases include bronchitis. Bronchitis can be caused by many of the same bacteria and viruses as the upper respiratory system experiences. Bronchitis is a respiratory disease of the lower respiratory system. Bacterial diseases of the lower respiratory system. Pertussis. Whooping cough is caused by Bordetella pertussis, which is a gram-negative coccus bacteria, bacillus, cocca bacillus, produces a capsule which allows attachment to ciliated cells in the trachea. It destroys those ciliated cells and shuts down the ciliary escalator. Tracheal cytotoxin of cell walls damages ciliated cells. Pertussis toxin can even enter the bloodstream. In stage one of whooping cough, catarrhal stage, symptoms are most like the common cold. In stage two, the paroxysmal stage, patients exhibit violent coughing and gasping for air. In stage three, the convalescent stage, which may last for months. Whooping cough can be prevented by the DTaP vaccine and treated with erythromycin. Tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is an acid fast rod obligate aerobe organism, has about a 20 hour generation time. Lipids in the cell wall make it resistant to drying and antimicrobials. Other causes of tuberculosis include Mycobacterium bovis. Bovine tuberculosis accounts for less than 1% of U.S. cases. Mycobacterium avium intracellulary complex infects people with late-stage HIV infection. Pathogenesis, pathogenesis of tuberculosis and starts as the organisms are inhaled. Inhaled organisms are phagocytized by alveolar macrophage. Mycolic acids in the cell wall stimulate an inflammatory response. The organisms are isolated in the walled off tubercles. And as the tubercles heal and become calcified, they are referred to as Gones complexes. The tubercles break down, releasing bacteria into the lungs and cardiovascular and lymphatic systems. Diagnosis of tuberculosis is usually done with a tubercillin skin test. Positive reaction means a current or previous infection. T cells react with purified protein derivative from a TB bacterium and patients will show a delayed hypersensitivity. Tuberculosis can also be diagnosed by an x-ray or CT exam, acid fast staining of sputum, and culturing of bacteria. Treatment. To treat tuberculosis, patient will experience a minimum of six months of drug therapy due to the slow growth and dormancy of the organism. The first line drugs are isonazid, second line drugs are aminoglycids, Multi-drug resistant MDR strains of tuberculosis are resistant to the first line drugs. Extensively drug resistant or XDR strains are resistant to the second line drugs. Tuberculoids. Tuberculoids um, develop in 9 million people annually. 2 million die. One third of the world's population is infected with tuber tuberculosis. It's the leading cause of death for those with HIV. BCG vaccine, a live culture of a virulent Mycobacterium bovis, is used to treat it. However, it is not widely used in the United States due to its questionable 
effectiveness. Bacterial pneumonias. Typical pneumonia is caused by S. pneumoniae. Atypical pneumonia is caused by other microorganisms. Lober pneumonia infects the lobes of the lungs. Bronchopneumonia affects the alveoli adjacent to the lungs, and pleurisy affects the pleural membranes. Pneumococcal pneumonia is caused by S. pneumoniae, which is a gram-positive encapsulated diplococcus of one of 90 serotypes. Infected alveoli in the lungs will fill with fluid and red blood cells, which interferes with oxygen uptake. Diagnosis Diagnosis has occurred is accomplished using optokin inhibin, inhibition tests, biosolubility tests, or antigens in the urine. It can be treated with macrolides and fluoroquinolines and prevented with conjugated pneumococcal vaccines. Hemophilus influenzae pneumonia is caused by gram-negative cocobacillus. Those contracting it usually have predisposing factors such as alcoholism, poor nutrition, cancer, or diabetes. Symptoms resemble those of pneumococcal pneumonia. Diagnosis is done by isolation on special media for nutritional requirements, X and B factors. Treatment with cephalosporins is common. Mycoplasmal pneumoniae, also called primary atypical pneumonia or Walker pneumonia, pneumonia, is caused by mycoplasmum pneumoniae, which has no cell wall. Mycoplasmal pneumoniae is mild but persistent. Mild symptoms in your respiratory system may go on for months and include a low fever, cough, and a headache. It is common in children and young adults. Diagnosis is done using PCR and serological testing, and it can be treated with tetracyclines. Legionellus, also known as Legionnaire's disease, is caused by Legionella pneumophilia, which is an aerobic gram-negative rot. This grows in water and air conditioning, bio, it forms biofilms, and waterborne amoebae. It can be transmitted by inhaling aerosols, but it's not transmitted person to person. Symptom, symptoms include high fever and cough, and can be treated with erythromycin. Histocosis is caused by chlamydophilia histochi. This is a gram-negative intracellular bacterium transmitted to humans by elementary bodies from bird droppings transmitted through the air. It can cause fever, headache, chills, and disorientation. It's diagnosed by growth of the bacteria in eggs or cell culture and treated with tetracyclines. Chlamydial pneumonia is caused by chlamydophilia pneumonia and transmitted person to person. Symptoms include mild respiratory illness and is common in young people resembling mycoplasmal pneumonia. Diagnosis is done with serological tests and is treated with tetracycline. Q fever is caused by coxella brunetti. It's an obligate parasite, intracellular gamma proteobacteria. Symptoms include an acute Q fever, where patients exhibit high fever, muscle aches, headache, and coughing. Chronic Q fever causes endocarditis. It can be transmitted to farm animals from tick bites and transmitted to humans from the inhalation of aerosols from animals and unpasteurized milk. It can be treated with doxycycline, chloroquine for chronic infections. Melidosis is caused by Burkholdera, which is a gram-negative rod. It occurs mostly in Southeast Asia and Northern Australia in moist soils. It commonly affects those with lower immune systems, pneumonia, or tissue abscesses and necrotizing fasciitis and severe sepsis are common. Transmission is done by inhalation, puncture wounds, and ingestion. Viral diseases of the lower respiratory system. Viral pneumonia causes 
occurs as a complication of influenza, measles, or chickenpox. Few labs are equipped to test clinical samples properly for viruses. SARS-associated coronavirus emerged in Asia in 2003 as an excellent example of an organism that causes viral pneumonia. Middle East Respiratory System, Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS-CoV, was reported in Saudi Arabia in 2012, and also an excellent example of an organism that causes viral pneumonia. RSV, Respiratory Syncytial Virus, is the most common viral respiratory disease in infants. Almost all children are infected by H2. This causes 4,500 deaths annually. It causes cell fusion in cell culture. Coughing and wheezing for more than a week are the usual symptoms. Diagnosis is accomplished using serological tests for viruses and antibodies. We treat it with ribavirin. Influenza, the flu, is caused by influenza virus, which contains eight RNA segments in an outer lipid bilayer. Symptoms include chills, fever, headache, and muscle aches, but normally do not include intestinal symptoms. 30 to 50,000 people die from influenza virus in the United States annually. Avian, swine, and mammalian strains of this particular virus also exist. Swine serve as mixing vessels for new strains. More on influenza or the flu. Hemagglutinin, or HA spikes, recognize and attach to host cells. Neuraminidase spikes help the virus separate from the infected cell. Influenza virus also exhibits antigenic drift, where minor antigenic changes in the HA and NA spikes help the organism adapt to new hosts and avoid host defenses. Antigenic shifts. Antigenic shifts change occur where changes are great enough to evade most immunity and can lead to pandemics. It's involved in the reassortment of the eight RNA segments. Influenza has a 1% mortality. Usually, the very young and very old experience the most problems with the virus. Multivalent vaccines for the most important strains are concocted every year. The composition of the vaccine is determined annually by identifying the viruses that are circulating globally. It's labor-intensive to produce and does not provide long-term immunity. Influenza is difficult to diagnose from clinical symptoms. It can be treated with Xanamivir or Tamiflu. Fungal diseases of the lower respiratory system. Histoplasmosis is caused by histoplasma, which is a dimorphic fungus, almost like yeast. It forms lung lesions about one-tenth of one percent of cases become severe. It's acquired from airborne conidia in areas with bird or bat droppings. It has a limited geographical range in the United States. Coccidiomycosis, also known as valley fever or San Joaquin fever, is caused by coccidio imidis. This is a dimorphic fungus. Anthroconidia are found in alkaline desert soils of the American Southwest. They'll form spherical filled with endospores in tissues. Most infections are not apparent. Fever, coughing, and weight loss are common symptoms. Less than 1% of cases resemble tuberculosis. Pneumocystis pneumoniae, the final disease for us to discuss, is caused by pneumocystis. There is no universal agreement 
if this is a protozoan or a fungus. People who contract this are sometimes asymptomatic. It causes pneumonia in the immuno immunocompromised. It's a primary indicator of AIDS. It is found in the lining of alveoli where it forms cysts. The cysts rupture and release trophozoites to spread the infection. Blastomycosis is caused by blastomycetes, so dimorphic fungus which grows in soil. The symptoms resemble bacterial pneumonia, cutaneous abscesses, and can cause excessive tissue damage. This organism causes 30 to 60 deaths annually. Other fungi involved in respiratory disease include aspergillus, rhizopus, Aspergillus causes aspergillosis, which is contracted through the inhalation of airborne conidia, and it grows in compost piles. Rhizopus is spread by mold spores. Those who contract this often have predisposing factors like immunocompromised states, cancer, or diabetes. This concludes our coverage of microbial diseases of the respiratory system.